Have the leaders of England, France, and Germany recently promised to defend Israel? Could dangerous terrorist attacks occur at the Olympics in China? And why are Russia and China becoming so friendly with one another? Stay tuned for this and much more on Jack Van Impey Presents. From the world headquarters of Jack Van Impey Ministries, this is Jack Van Impey Presents. International news and in-depth analysis from the award-winning team of Dr. Jack and Rex Van Impey. Join millions around the globe for 30 minutes of powerful insights. This is Jack Van Impey Presents. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. Friends, I look at the dictionary and I wish that I could pronounce and understand and use every single word that's in there. It's very, very difficult to uh, even imagine that I could attain that. But it's even more difficult when they keep expanding it. They're expanding it. Take a look. Dictionary adds 100 words to its vocabulary. Oh my, 100 more words that I have to read someday, probably. <laughs> but I'll never forget when Jack and I were married that not only did he have a desire to memorize the Bible, he has well over 15,000 verses memorized right now, but he also wanted to memorize the dictionary. Can you believe that one? <laughs> but uh, he got so far and then he said, you know what, I think I changed my mind, right, Jack? <laughs> right. I didn't see a purpose in it. However, I get get into a lot of A's. In fact, if my enunciations and articulations are abundantly augmented with A's, one will allude to my association with Webster's amalgamation of alphabetical arrangement and automatically alter his approach. <laughs> oh boy, aren't you glad oh, yeah. I memorized scripture yes. instead? And you know, one can say it two ways. Don't calculate upon your juvenile poultry until the proper process of incubation has fully materialized, or just say, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. <laughs> and many preachers go over the heads of the people. Right. And the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4, my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Holy Spirit and of power. And that's what I want. And how does one get this power? The Holy Spirit, like Paul said, Acts 1, you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. That's why daily I pray for new infilling because Ephesians 5, 18 says, be filled with the Spirit. The actual Greek is be being filled with the Spirit. It's a daily thing. And we need it, Rexella, because we're preaching this message to the entire world. We're one of the first individual stations, programs, to give the message to 247 nations. I'm going to tell you something. You're only going to see this set for the next five programs. God has burdened us after 20 years to get new equipment. We're going to have a stage here that's unbelievable. We're going to have screens like they do on ABC, CBS, and NBC. We're going to show clips. We're going to try to compete with the world to get the gospel to every end. And folks, we need your support. Please send us something for this new emphasis on getting the gospel to the world in the most modern way possible. Well, Amen. we've had a mandate from the government. We've got to do some things, you know, the direct TV and all the rest. And uh, so we decided 20 years is pretty good. They say if you have eight years duration for a set, that's good. Ours is 20 years old. We've been on 20 years, well, Sometimes Jack. you have to repair things and are in trouble, yeah. but God always helps us to get it ready in time. We try to give you the latest happenings around the world pertaining to the Bible. Now, you're going to say, how is uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you pertaining to the Bible? But Jack will do it. Global headlines at a glance. Here we are. The car that changed the world prepares to celebrate 100 years. And, of course, that is the Ford. And, of course, the Model T. And this is where it all started. That's the plant there. The birthplace of the Model T and uh, 100 years anniversary. I'm going to talk to him about how that pertains to the Bible. 1903 Ford Model Malay goes for $633,000. So many people are still interested. They want those old cars as a relic. 
And then Kantata of India Handle Luxury Class, $2,500 for the Tata and the, the Nato. And they say that this is going to really sell because of the mileage you can get. You can't buy a bicycle in America for $2,500. <laughs> 2500 out of India. 09 Corvette has 638 horses. Of course, that's the power with under, underneath that hood, which is 205 miles per hour. And at nine gal $9 per gallon in Great Britain, their driving habits are changing, friends. Of course, all of our driving habits are changing, aren't they? Well, here's a man. I'm going to take off without uh, the help of an automobile, the shape of things to come. He puts it on his back, and he's going to work. You see that under his arm. <laughs> and he can fly with it. He can fly with it. How is this connected with the Bible? How is that Model T and all the other things, the automobile, Jack? Uh, you know, we had a series on December 21st, 2012, as the end of the world, as it was presented uh, on the History Channel. And my people really ordered it. But there was one lady, little lady, called Mother Shipton and her prophecies for the year 2012. And she predicted the horseless carriage, the automobile, uh, men flying as birds, and the submarine. Now, that's Bible prophecy. In Nahum chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, it says, The chariot shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, when our Messiah prepares to come to earth, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And then it goes on to say, The chariot shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broadways. They shall seem like torches, and they shall run like lightning. Hey, there's road rage as well. But then there's a second thing, the airplane. As the bird's flying, so will the Lord defend Jerusalem. That's for a future war, Isaiah 31, 5. And who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? And now men with packs on their backs. And we showed you a picture of a guy in the Alps the other day doing it, 187 miles per hour with a pair of wings that shoot out. And he turns the motor on and away they go. These are Bible prophecies. The rabbis also said, when these things happen, our Messiah will be here. Oh, it's all so near. It is near, isn't it, Jack? And something else. We're continuing on with our global headlines now. Drug abuse soars in Mexico. Of course, it's soaring here, too, but better border control they want now because they say there's so many young people coming over with their drugs, and they are addicted, Jack. How drugs now? How is that connected with the Bible? It's the one last sign before Jesus comes, for by drugs were all nations deceived. Revelation 18.23. Now, it doesn't say the word drugs there, and it doesn't say sorcery. That's a misrepresentation from the Greek. The Greek is pharmakia. In Spanish, pharmacia. In English, over every drugstore, pharmacy. And so it's there, and I'm telling you, you can find it again in Revelation 9, 21, when they will not repent of their drug abuse. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. And you can also find it in Revelation 21, 8, Revelation 22, uh, 15, and Galatians 5, 19 to 21. There, the word, number six in that listing, witchcraft is Fatimachia, drug abuse. What a day to be alive. Oh, Jack, it is exciting. Quite a day to be alive. We've all heard of the number. That's connected, of course, with Bible prophecy 666. Now, the CAPE license plate, as you'll see in this next headline, uh, the bidding goes apocalyptic. Everybody's bidding because they want 666. Can you wow. believe it? On their license plate. House of Commons call to disestablish Church of England is number 666. Now, this is a motion calling for the disestablishment of the Church of England. It's been listed in the House of Commons as 666. Can't believe wow. it, Jack. What a day to be alive. Now, if you remember from past programs, I told you that the American government was going to either microchip people or put it in their license plates this last May. They have changed it to May of 2009. But there's more. 
England is going to microchip all of their people or put it in their driver's license as a beginning in 2011, and the entire world's going to do it by 2017. You don't think the coming of the Lord is near, for this happens after the rapture, after the come up hither of Revelation 4, verse 1. And what did they do? Revelation 13, verses 16 and 18. He caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead that no man might buy or sell, save either the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, the Antichrist, that's the number of man, and his number is 666. Imagine, they are bidding hundreds of dollars and even to the thousands to get a 666 license plate. Well, their wish is going to be granted soon, and it's going to be for free. And it means Jesus is coming, Rex. Oh, Jack, that's the good news. Yes. That's the good news, friends. We always want to bring you the good news from the Lord and the Word of God. Well, wind up. I'm so sorry. This is the wind up of this wonderful offer of the week. Earth's golden age coming very soon. Secular leaders warn the end of the world is near. The movies I Am Legend, Cloverfield, Hellboy 2, and Doomsday warn that life will soon end for all humanity. The Today Show's Matt Lauer did a special Countdown to Doomsday, where he named global warming, giant solar flares, global pandemics, gamma ray bursts, super volcanoes, asteroid collisions, nuclear terrorism, alien invasions, and machines in rebellion as coming events creating mass extinction. Now for some good news. Dr. Van Empe proves 120 times in his book, Coming Soon, Earth's Golden Age, that the world will never end. Who changed the message about the Golden Age for the devastating end of the world era and proclaimed it for the past 1,500 years? Order Coming Soon, Earth's Golden Age, and find out. Make the call right now. This is the wind-up. You know, we're talking about Armageddon. How can God prepare the earth where there'll be no storms and no wastelands and no floods and no poverty and so forth, no war? Jack proves it in this wonderful prophecy book. Don't miss getting it, Jack. It's great. I'll tell you, we are so near to Christ's return, and he brings the holy city with him when he comes, Revelation 21 and 22. You need to know what that city's like, how you're going to live, if you're going to enjoy it. Will there be family life? Will you be eating normally? What's it all about? This city that's 1,500 miles long, wide, and high. Get the book. Woo! Will there be family life? All those questions answered. All your questions answered in here. There's the 800 number. There is the address. The wind up, not much longer. So don't miss out getting this wonderful book, Earth's Golden Age. And now, friends, we are all thinking about Iran, aren't we, in these days? Our hearts are so burdened. That Ahmadinejad is making great boasts. And he's making great threats, too. We did not fake this photo coming to you live from the moon. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, he is boasting that they have the ability also to go to the moon. What arrogance. All right, here we are, Iran. Missile test, a warning signal to Israel and the U.S. I guess so. They did have success with that. U.S. says Iran has missile that could hit Europe. And the British Prime Minister Brown to the Knesset says, Iran must suspend nuclear bid or face global isolation. We're not going to put up with this. China-Russia signed border agreement. They're getting closer and closer as friends. President Hu, China sees relationship with Russia as diplomatic priority. He is saying we must get close to Russia. Jack, that's very significant too, isn't it? Jesus said just before I return, and he's speaking to his Jewish people at the day he was here, every nation shall come to hate you, Matthew 24, 9. In fact, he says, the time will come that whosoever kills you will think he's doing God a favor, John 16, 2. And here's little Ahmadinejad, who's so hates the Jews, is so anti-Semitic that he says, we're going to blot Israel from off the face of the earth. And he's 
actually saying what Psalm 83, 4 says will be said just before our Lord comes. It's one of the great signs, one of the last signs. Let us cast Israel off from being a nation, that their name be no more in remembrance. Now, who heads this up? Russia, Ezekiel 38 and 39, China, and that's Revelation 16, 12, and chapter 9, verses 14 to 18, with an Arab federation joining them in Daniel 11, verses 40 and 41, and then in Ezekiel 38, verses 5 to 7, and one of those nations is Persia, and Persia changed its name to Iran in 1935. My, the Bible is right up to date. And then, of course, in Psalm 83, verses 5 to 7, all the rest of the Arab nations, and we are getting ready for the final windup, and I'll tell you, it's wonderful to be saved and ready at such an hour. I love your smile, Jack. <laughs> you know what? You can smile because we have a blessed oh, hope, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Christ returns, not the end of the world. It's a world without end, Isaiah 45, 17, Ephesians 3, 21. In my golden age, I pronounce it 120 times. The world will never end. It's a world without end. Amen. Believe me. Amen. Well, I love my country so much, don't you? But will the United States be able to continue to boast about being number one in the global order? Here you see it, New World Order, the second world empires and influences in the new global order. I'm afraid that we're going downhill toward a new European Union now. This is a representative in the European Union from Poland, Szymanski, and uh, he has a lot to say there, too. They want to continue to expand the European Union. Sarkozy of France sets EU goal. Revive Pact this year. Once again, France has high hopes for the Euro European Union presidency and the Mediterranean Union to be launched. Palestinian Israeli leaders call for larger, there you see it, EU role in peace process. Friends, we've been saying this from day one. The EU is going to have a big voice, aren't they, Jack? Oh, Rexella, these are headlines I've been preaching about for 20 years. I said it would come, and I've lived to see the fulfillment of all the prophecies God gave me to give to you. Now, what's this all about? Well, the Bible teaches that there's going to be a European Union, and it would be the seventh world empire in history, Revelation 17.10. There are seven kings, five are fallen, and that's... Assyria, Egypt, Babylon, Medo-Persia, and Greece. One is, and that was when Christ was here, the Roman Empire, and then one is yet to come at the time of the end, and that's the revived Roman Empire, the present-day European Union. And you can find that in Daniel chapter 7, verses 7, 8, 20, and 24. And not only does it mention 10 as a beginning, but it becomes global for the King of Fierce Continents, Daniel 8, 23, devours the whole world, Daniel 7, 23. It's all coming to pass right before our eyes. But here is the new president of France, Sarkozy, and he is looking forward to his presidency for a six-month period, for they all reign for six months, but they'd like to vote in a permanent president. So it isn't changed every six months, which makes it difficult. And Sarkozy said, when I'm president, I hope to bring in all of the Middle Eastern nations and all of the African nations to make this the mightiest empire in history. Wow! Is prophecy ever getting fulfilled now? So it could go to 100 nations, and it's been France who's been pushing for that 100 mark. And it's this grouping of nations that will make the peace. Very soon you're going to see the peace contract sign and it'll be one of the leaders out of the European Union because Daniel 9.26 says the prince who comes that creates the peace is of the people who destroyed Jerusalem and its temple and that was Vespasian and Titus his son in 70 AD. Well, They've made the peace for seven years, Daniel 9.27, but after 42 months it fails, and that's where Russia first moves, Ezekiel 38.39, and then China, as we said. But isn't it amazing that the leader of England, Brown, the leader of France, Sarkozy, and the leader of Germany, Merkel, all said, we will defend Israel. Wow, 
What a time in history. Dick, yeah. you've been saying it all yeah. along. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's from the Bible. Well, 20, there. 20 years I've been saying it on TV. Yes, you have. There's great concern, friends, for the world on, on many levels. All right. Of course, they had a G8 summit. Take a look. We have a few days to feed Africa, stop climate change, and lower oil prices. If we get done early, can we play golf? Well, I'm sorry that was on their mind. Other things are more important. Al Gore's doomsday clock. Three in UK, UK terror plot admit plan to set off bombs. Woo! Osama bin Laden's son. Now look at this. Calls for Britain to be wiped out on terror web film. And China tightens security to prepare for the Olympics. Twin blast fan fears of terrorism in China. Missiles, 100,000 police on China's Olympic team. We're going to, they say, protect anyone who comes. Suicide bombing in Cabal kills 41 and wounds more than 100. U.S. military, Al-Qaeda in Iraq on the run, but remains lethal. Foreigners reinforce Taliban, U.S. says, and look at this cartoon. Al-Qaeda. Come visit us in our new location, Pakistan. They say we have moved. Woo! U.S. Press says Pakistan to check militants. And one more here, terrorists in Bangladesh. Another Musarraf could emerge if the United States doesn't act. Oh, my friends, it is worldwide. They're talking about bringing the troops home from Iraq. Well, they may bring them home, but they're going to send them back because now Afghanistan is growing again in terroristic acts. It's spreading over into Pakistan, into Bangladesh. It's going to become global. And Jesus predicted it. I've preached this also for 20 years. In Genesis 6, 11, in Noah's day, the world was filled with terrorism and violence. And Jesus said in Matthew 24, 37, as the days of Noah were terrorism, violence, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They are very alarmed about the Olympics. They even feel that some nuclear weaponry could be used, nuclear suitcases and other things. So they've got a hundred thousand policemen watching and another one half million roaming through the cities watching every move. And I have a heavy heart. We'll wait and see. That's not a prediction, but I'm very concerned. Jesus said, when you hear of wars and revolutionaries, wars and terrorism, don't be frightened. Why? These things must first come before what? Verse 27. When it's happening, then shall they see the Son of Man, Jesus, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Hey, Jesus is coming back. Do you know that? He said, if I go away, I'll come again in John 14, 3. And he's going to come on a white horse, regally, royally, majestically, in Revelation 19, 11, as the King of kings and Lord of lords, verse 16, to rule and reign for 1,000 years. Revelation 20 verse 4 and as I said earlier when he descends the holy city descends with him and hangs in space scholars say it'll be 1500 miles wide 1500 miles long and 1500 miles high and we the redeemed who are raptured Revelation 4 1 are living in that city and reigning over the people on earth three billion at least Revelation 20 verse 4 and the Bible says There'll be no more war or terrorism for the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6, comes and they beat their swords in the plowshares and their spears in the pruning hooks, Isaiah 2, verse 4. It'll be a time of hell for then shall the blind uh, see and the deaf shall hear and the lame shall leap as in heart, Isaiah 35, verses 5 and 6. It will be a time of family life and oh, they're going to be building their homes, Isaiah 65, 24, and planting their vineyards and joy them and the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing there in Zechariah 8 5 and it'll be a way of holiness Isaiah 35 8 and that is this golden age that's coming soon oh friends you know you don't have to wait until the Lord comes back to have peace he wants to come into your life right now this is why Jesus came to be your Savior if you'll open your heart, and Jack's going to show you how, he will be your Savior, and he will bring you out of whatever's in your life, maybe drugs, maybe alcohol. Jack, show our friends how they can have peace right now. 
Christ made peace through the blood of his cross. Colossians 1.20. There is no other way to be saved or to have that peace. Would you pray this right now? Precious Jesus, Savior, the Prince of Peace, the coming King, I want to be ready when you come. Lord Jesus, you died for me. I lay my sin on you, all of it. Come into my heart now. I receive you. Save me. In your holy name I pray this. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I promise Jesus came in. Your sins are all gone. Your mistakes are all gone. He'll help you to have victory in your life. He loves you. Write me. I'll send you absolutely free this little booklet saying, Rexella, I prayed the prayer. Please send me first steps in a new direction. There's my address. Box 7004, Troy, Michigan. I'd love to send this to you. God bless you as you walk with the Lord. And this is the wind-up. I'm sorry to say that because this is probably one of the finest books on prophecy that you will ever read. All your questions. You know, how does the Lord heal a planet after Armageddon? How does he do that? But it's going to happen. And, oh, Jack, I love every question that anyone has is in here. You just heard me tell about it. The holy city descends. We rule over those who are on earth. It's going to be a time of tremendous blessing. And the world is never going to bend. And one of the blessings of this book is 120 scripture verses proving that the earth abides forever, Ecclesiastes 1.4. You don't have to worry. Sleep well tonight. Jesus is coming, and he's going to put a stop to all of this hatred and abuse that's going on in the world. Revelation 11, verse 18. All right, and you know, friends, this is the wind-up, so don't put it off. Here is our announcer to tell you how you can receive a check. Now to order your copy of the book, Coming Soon, Earth's Golden Age. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day. 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of 1995 to Jack Vanapee Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan 48007. In Canada, send your donation of 1995 to Jack Vanapee Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. And now, Rex Allen. Thank you so very much, Chuck. And I just want to say, this is the wind-up, friends. Don't put it off. You know, every question I guarantee that you have about the future, Jack has answered in here. Not his own opinion. Again, I want to say that, but from the Bible. There's a 100 number address. Please call because it is the wind-up. Oh, sometimes, you know, we get uh, uh, letters that say, Jack was a little bit fast. We want everything he has to say. You can keep in contact, jvim.com. So go to your website. We'll be there. Patience, patience is waiting on God's timetable. He's coming. We need to be patient. Look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we. Bye-bye.